What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. And I want to clarify something. When I've made, when I've been making these videos, people have had an issue. Some people have had a, had an issue with me putting Abby Steiner beats Jamaica, right? So I want to clarify something for y'all. When I say that, I don't officially mean to take anything away from the team. We know that the relays are a team event. I'm not taking anything away from the team because the team deserves all the credit. You work as a team to do what you need to do. This was more about Abby as an individual because she lost the 200 meters the way she lost it this week. And this was more of a thing where we get a chance to say Abby Steiner was a part of a team that beat the Jamaicans. That's basically what I meant by it. And she had a part in beating the Jamaicans. Both nights, 4x100 and 4x400. Without Abby Steiner in the lineup, they probably still beat the Jamaicans tonight. But I don't know about the night before. I'm telling you right now, I got some doubts about them beating the Jamaicans the night before without Abby Steiner. I don't think it, I don't think it happens. I think she was the engine that got the girls going. I think probably when they saw her in the lineup, they got energized because they're like, man, they know what Abby could do. TT and Melissa Jefferson have seen Abby on the college level. And Jenna Prandini just raced her at the trials or nationals last month. So Jenna Prandini knows what Abby Steiner could do. So I'm pretty sure she was happy when she saw her on the team filling in for Aaliyah Hobbs. Because if you lost someone like Aaliyah Hobbs, you lost a pretty big hole if you're the U.S. But luckily, you got death on your team and you had someone like this on the roster to fill in. So when I say Abby beats Jamaica, I do mean the team as well. But everybody on the look. It doesn't matter what team sport you got. You're going to have catalysts. Every single team sport, there's a reason why you win the games you win. There's usually going to be an individual in there who's the reason why you won. Now, everyone played a part. You probably will get Sidney McLaughlin most of the credit in this one, um, in this 4x400, but I can easily give it to Brittany Wilson because Brittany Wilson did well. You know what I'm saying? And then even, even right before then, uh, Talitha Diggs did very well. You can give credit to anybody in here. And nobody should feel, you should not be feeling a certain way just because somebody says an individual won the race. You know you know what it is anyway. Some of y'all just like to come in here. and Some of y'all don't. I'm explaining to the people who don't understand, who need the clarification. But I know there's some people out there that just want to, they want to argue just to argue. So I'm not even worried about those people. I'll cuss them out in the comment section anyway so I get to it. <laughs> Anyways, man, so, uh, yes, Abby Steiner gets her revenge again against Jamaica, and she looks determined. That's why I made that video yesterday saying she will be Shelly, uh, Shelly Ann Fraser Price before she retires because she's on a mission. She knows that this is the one country that she's got to she's gotta get over. If she's going to get her individual medals in the 100, 200, she's got to beat the Jamaicans. Like, there's no ifs and buts about it. She's got to beat the Jamaicans, and... And I know she respects them. She respects them. Trust me, she respects them, man. But the thing is, she knows she has to beat them. And I'm just letting people know that as a team, she's beating the Jamaican. So, you know, she got this over them. And, it, and like I said, she was able to leave Eugene saying she at least beat them in these relay races. She still got some work to do in the individuals. And I'm telling y'all, what y'all saw in these two races Okay, is a preview of what she can do either in the shorter distance, the medium distance, or the longer distance. This is what she can do. And I'm telling you, it's not a fluke. She proved it twice, back to back days, in different distances, and she still came up with some of the fastest times in the field. Not that many girls, if you look at the uh the score sheet here, not that many uh girls had a had a time under a 50 flat. Let's see, let's count them, let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Only five girls. How many girls is this in total? So four times eight, eight times four is 36, right? So uh, let's see, four, 16, yeah, 32, my, my bad. Uh, hold on, 16, 20, 24, 28, yeah, 32. So five out of 32 girls had a, uh, had a time under 50 flat. She was one of the five girls with a time under 50 flat. And remember, it's not like she runs this way all the time. So this isn't like her specialty. So for her to get that, it's just freaking unbelievable because she's Abby Bionic Woman Steiner. 
She had 57 races on her belt. Just imagine next year when she's practicing by herself. No one else is around. When she's able to practice herself and she's got less of a congested schedule, she is going to just be murdering people next year in these individuals. Like people keep saying, oh, she ain't got a medal yet in the individual. She's going to get there. She just started this week. Really, man, on the international scene. She's just starting, bro. What the hell? Like, give her some time, man. She ain't, man, like, people want to play that game because they trying to, f see, what people are doing now with Abby, they can't, like, after this weekend, it's even harder to find negatives about Abby Steiner than it was just three nights ago after she lost the 200-meter final. Now it's becoming very hard for people to find negatives out of Abby Steiner. And most of the most of the excuses that you're getting now about Abby Steiner, the negatives you're getting now, they're having to dig deep for anything because they know it's starting to become a short list now. And the only thing that I think Abby Steiner has to work on is getting those gold medals. Uh, that's going to be her biggest challenge because there's some people in her way. It doesn't matter what she does, 100, 200, because if Sydney McLaughlin goes to the 400, it's going to be hard for her to get gold medals against Sydney McLaughlin. So that's going to be her biggest challenge. And if, and if the thing more and Kiwi Hashi can come over the way they're running right now, shoot, it's going to be tough. But um, I believe that she's got a chance to do it because we still haven't seen her run real fast as because look she's going to get to 21.60s she's going to be running that uh for her new personal best and the sky's the limit for her because she's not even close to being fast like she's still got to get strength for her legs she doesn't have the, the the baby fat is still there and that's not even going to be cleaned off for another three or four years once she gets all of that gone from her body bro she's going to take this thing to another level another level man but uh going ahead and hit the like button on this video definitely hit the like button as y'all leave the video share the video subscribe to the channel any comments y'all got uh definitely put them down below and if you want to donate to the channel hit that super thanks button below got some more videos coming up for y'all um i got another one right after this and then we're going to do a video talking about demo uh uh abby steiner Kiwi Hodgkinson all entering one day, entering the 400 meters together. And I'm still doing an individual video where I'm talking about Abby Steiner 100 in the in in uh, in 400. And we're going to talk about next season. I want to see if I can do this video as well later this week. Uh, maybe next week and I'll do this video. Uh, it's going to be a video about Abby Steiner's next season. I want to start getting into kind of what event she might do because she might be in the Diamond League next year. So I just want to start getting into, uh, you know, little events that she can do next year that, you know, could get her these individual medals and stuff like that. And uh, what she's going to do in Beauty Pets Hun Hungry next year, too, because I think she's going to be a permanent fixture on these relay teams. I think they've seen, I think they've seen that she's a bit of a catalyst on these relay teams, and they're probably going to keep her in at least one of the two relay teams next season and uh, hungry uh so we'll see about that as well but uh thank you guys for watching after news like